بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In the fourth juz or the fourth para of the Quran we continue uh, into Surah Ali Imran and the beginning of this para or the beginning of this juz begins by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioning the importance of unity among the Muslims. And so previously Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about the Jews and how they divided and how and also about the Christians. And now the address is brought to the Muslim community and the believers. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to hold on fast uh, to his rope uh, and to be united and not to be divided like the Jews and the Christians. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions one of the most important uh, points that will help us to unite and that is uh, commanding the good and forbidding the evil. And that's why Allah mentions here the obligation of commanding the good and forbidding the evil al-amr bil ma'ruf wa nahi anil munkar. After that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes on to talk about uh, the battle of Badr and you know uh, how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave victory to the believers through their patience and their taqwa and how Allah aided them with uh, you know an army from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that being the angels all because of the iman and the steadfastness of the believers and later on in the surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the battle of Uhud and how uh, you know the the result was uh, the complete opposite uh, to the battle of Badr and that was because uh, you know uh, the, the believers they, they directed their attention to to uh, to the dunya and what awaited them after the battle of, uh, you know, war, booty, and so on and so forth. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this, and then he concludes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala concludes this surah, Surah Ali Imran, uh, by mentioning uh, certain, uh, you know, ayat of his creation. Inna fi khalqi samawati wal ardi wa akhtilafi layli wal nahari la ayat li uli al Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala concludes Surah Ali Imran by mentioning these, uh, you know, uh, tremendous ayat or signs in his creation, the heavens and the earth and, uh, you know, the alternation of the day and the night. And Allah mentions that uh, these are signs for a people of understanding. And, uh, you know, the rest of these ayat, the pretty much the last 10 ayat of Surah Ali, Ali Imran, are uh, ayat verses that are recommended to recite. The Prophet ﷺ would recite these verses uh, when he would wake up from his sleep. When he would wake up from his sleep, and so we should, we should try our best to recite these verses, read them, and uh, also develop an understanding for them. After that, uh, the remaining part of this juz or this para is the beginning of Surah An-Nisa of Surat An-Nisa and Surat An-Nisa which basically means the women uh, the beginning part of it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, talks about the importance of giving the weak their due right the weak from among the women from among uh, the orphans and among others like those who are stuck uh, in uh, Bilad al-Kufr, the, 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 uh, the lands of uh, the disbelievers and they were not able to make hijrah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that they have their rights and we should give them their rights and not prevent, uh, and not prevent them from accessing their rights. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about uh, something very very important in these first verses of Surah An-Nisa and that is uh, how to properly divide the inheritance and so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we will notice here mentions in detail 
who deserves what from uh, the inheritance that you leave behind. And uh, we'll notice that uh, there are many different legislations and rulings of Islam that were mentioned in general in the Quran, and then the specific details were mentioned in the Sunnah, in the various hadith. For example, a salah, praying. Uh, Allah mentioned and commanded us to pray, but the details of how to pray are mentioned in the Sunnah. As for inheritance and the laws of inheritance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to mention them himself and mention them in the Quran himself without even uh, allowing the Prophet to explain them in detail. Why? Because uh, the inheritance is something that people dispute over. And so in order to you know, uh, you know, prevent that dispute from occurring, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned it himself to basically end the dispute. That these are the laws and this is how the inheritance and the property should be divided and nobody should dispute after that. Yes, there are some other uh, details regarding inheritance that are mentioned in the various hadith, but the, the, the actual uh, dividing in terms of uh, you know the numbers are mentioned here in the beginning of Surah An-Nisa. Finally, uh, in the very end of this juz, and the very end of this uh, para, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions also something very important, and that is uh, the muharramat uh, from, from the women. Uh, the muharramat are basically uh, those women who uh, we are not allowed to marry. And so they are basically our mahram. And they are basically, as Allah mentioned in these last uh, two uh, verses of this para, uh, such as, you know, the mothers, the sisters, uh, the daughters, and so on and so forth. Allah mentioned them all here uh, in this last uh, part of this juz and this para. And with that, we conclude. Uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us beneficial knowledge and to grant us understanding of the Qur'an. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.